Hello everyone, it's Angie here at Beads and Plenty More. Today I thought I'd show you how to do these sparkle Christmas ornaments. So I've got what, our turquoise one here, and then I'm going to show you with the red one. Um, we did do these up as kits, and I will put the link in our description of, under the video here. But what I'm starting with is I'm starting with a snowflake frame, and I've glued a size 30 crystal on either side of the center of it. So I had to do that ahead of time. Um, I did use E6000 glue to do it, which is this one here. And it's quite durable and will hold really well. So I started out with our first step here. And I've got a size 8 seed bead, a 4 millimeter bicone crystal, and a size 8 seed bead. And then on each of the spokes, I taped a little piece of tape. So I'm going to finish off the last one here. So there's the size eight, my four millimeter bicone crystal, and another size eight seed bead. And then I'm just taking a little piece of scotch tape and I'm making a flag on the end here just to hold that on. And that's just to keep the beads from falling off. And then I'm gonna take some 28 gauge wire and I'm gonna get started adding our in-between areas with the beads, so these areas in here. So I'm just gonna take the 28 gauge wire, lay it across one of the spokes just above the beads, and I'm gonna wrap it two or three times. Um, if you only wrap it once, it's not gonna stay. So you need to wrap it a few times here. All right, so now that I've got that, I'm gonna start with my first row of beads. So that row is seven of these size 10 seed beads. And then one of the size eight crystal ones. And then seven more seed beads. Once I've got that whoop, on my, the wire's not cooperating with me real well. Once I've got that onto my spoke here, or onto my beads, or onto my wire, I'm going to form it into a little triangle. So it's got the, the peak is the size eight bead, and I'm going to wrap it around the next spoke. Just come through the center of it here. So one thing I like to do is I like to pull the wire just a little bit and it keeps it nice and tight. And there's my first little, little outputter between my spokes. So I've got one that's a little further along So I've done the seven and one and seven all the way around. And then I started into my second row, which is five of the seed beads, size 10 seed beads, one size three bugle. This is the size eight um, silver line crystal, size three bugle, and then five more seed beads. And what I wanted to show you here is what happens when you finish off with one piece of wire and you would need to start another one. So this is me finishing off the one piece of wire. So I'm wrapping it a few times. And then I'll just trim off any excess here. And then grab a new piece of wire. Well, I had a piece sitting here. This is 28 gauge wire, by the way. Just grab a piece here. And I'm going to start right where I left off. So that would be right in here. And I'm just going to wrap it three or four times just to start the new piece. Maybe 
Maybe I'll take it through the center because I don't want it to end up way too high on the, the spoke. I kind of want it to end up right where I left off. All right, so we got that. And I'm gonna finish off that last spoke. Or that last one, so I need five of these. One size three, size eight, size three, and then five more. So for people that aren't real familiar with bugles, um, size two is the smallest, size three is kind of the most common size, and then a size four is bigger again. So I've got all three out here because we're going to use all three. So here's my last one that completes row two all the way around. So now, because I need to move up just a little bit, I'm going to wrap it two or three times just to move my wire. Let's maybe sit like that. And then row three has three size tens. And this is where you start to use the different size bugles because I'm going to use a size two, one of my size eight silver lined ones. And then I get a size three. A size eight and then the, one more size three. My size eight and a size two, and three more size 10 ones. So again, pull those down. I'm gonna form them into the triangle to make the next one out. And we'll just wrap it. So that's the third row out, and there's one more row after that. And that row, I had these laid out and my wire moved them around, but that row consists of one size 10, and then we're gonna do four of the size four bugles with a size eight seed bead in between, and then one more of the size 10. So that is your fourth row. So I'm going to complete this to the point where I'm ready to add the end little beads on the spoke and to turn the loop and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll back on the other side. Okay, so here I've got all four of my rows on and I'm ready to add the extra beads on the ends of the spokes. So I'm just going to take the tape off. And I'm going to put one of my four millimeter bicones on and I'm going to put a eight millimeter crystal on. Now one thing you may notice is that as you were working some of your rows started to move up on the spoke. So this is where you can kind of move them back down get them back into position and then I'm using our um, memory wire. This is the Beadsmith memory wire plier um, you can use a needle nose plier or you can use a round nose plier. The advantage of these guys is that the um, the barrels are really close to the where the joint is so you can get a little more muscle involved and you can get them turned nice like that. So just work around here. Just pull the tape off. Add my two beads and again take a look to see that everything's in position where you want it to be and then grabbing right at the end of the wire I'm just going to bring it around to form a loop. So I'll work the rest of the way around my ornament and that'll be the end of it. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day.